I said that before, but when you're listening to jazz, to my mind, it's so important to get good pressings. Uh, What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hello friends and welcome to my new video. It's Friday evening here in Germany. It's still summertime, it's still very hot, but I'm just having a great time listening to a lot of music, going to the lake. Uh, I still have some free days and it's just so enjoyable at the moment. And I, today I listened to a lot of jazz and I picked some audiophile jazz records that I uh, collected over the last couple of weeks and I just wanted uh, to share them with you. And I can't wait to uh, present which records I found, so let's go! So the first record for today is of course uh, by Stan Getz, uh, it's called Getz Gilberto. And um, yeah, this is probably one of the most famous titles on Verve and uh, probably one of the, yeah, of the, of the very famous Brazilian influenced Bossa Nova albums. Um, this is a Speaker's Corner pressing. Uh, beautiful quality, sounds fantastic, gatefold, it opens up and to my mind speakers corners, uh, speakers corners uh, often underrated. There are very good uh, high quality stuff overall and it sounds amazing. Of course uh, the girl from Ipanema is the most famous track and this is just the perfect record for the summertime and really enjoyable. Uh, the next record I want to show isn't for my collection, but this is going to be a VCLT, a trade more or less. Um, of course I'm talking about the Dave Brubeck Quartet and this is Time Out. Yeah, big jazz classic of course, a uh, must have record. And this is a classic records pressing from 1995. To my mind this is the best pressing you can get for this album. Maybe the analog productions is uh, in the same league, but the old nothing beats the old classic records on 180 gram vinyl. They are so good in every way, I can highly recommend them. And yeah, that's a great album, it has the 6i uh, label, fantastic quality overall and yeah, one of my personal jazz favorites as well. So the next record was a crazy VCLT from a friend from the Netherlands, so if you're watching, um, you know who you are. Uh, thank you so much, uh, I appreciate it a lot. Um, this is a Blue Note of course. It's by Horace Palin um, and it's called Us 3. Uh, this is a Music Matters pressing on uh, 45 RPM, double album, glossy cover, flawless quality. I love these pressings. If they were a little cheaper in Europe, I would buy them all. They're, I mean, they are, to my mind, the best you can get for Blue Note. So damn enjoyable and yeah, great album, trio jazz, a little softer than some other Blue Note stuff, but I love it musically. Uh, you have Horace Parlin, George Tucker and Al Harwood. Um, yeah, great album overall. I just played it once, but I will uh, spin it for a second time soon. And uh, another VCLT I got in the same package was this great album, uh, the Tidonius Monk Quartet with John Coltrane at Carnegie Hall in New York. This was recorded in 1957 and it, this is a pressing on Mosaic Records. Uh, it was uh, released in 2005, I think. And um, the interesting thing behind this record is this is a very um, important performance of John Coltrane. After that, he might um, he got really yeah, let's say famous in a way. But um, yeah, his I'm I'm so glad that the original tapes of this uh, concert were found and that they pressed the vinyl of it. There is it's a gatefold. There are concert tickets inside and, and everything like that and yeah great concert um, you have uh, Tilonius Monk of course John Coltrane Ahmed, uh, Ahmed Abdul Malik and uh, Shadow Wilson on drums beautiful beautiful stuff they also say which source and equipment they use and uh, for an audiophile that's always interesting to read you know what I mean uh, the next record is also by John Coltrane uh, Ballads and this is um, a 90s pressing from the series that uh, Michael Kuskuna made and I heard some bad things about these pressings but for to my mind they are very very good. I only have this one so far but um, it has the original uh, impulse spine, it's a gatefold, it opens up and a beautiful Coltrane album of course. 
very uh, modal in a way, very silent, maybe even a bit um, untypical for Coltrane, but a masterpiece in every way. I mean, I love it. And yeah, those 90s pressings, uh, they are um, cut from the original analog tapes. And to be honest, I will keep my eyes open. I will try to get more of them because they are not that expensive um, from time to time and they seem to be a very good way to go. I can highly recommend them. Uh, the next record is also another Blue Note and I'm talking about Art Blakey, Night at Birdland, Volume 1. This is a Japanese Victor pressing. Um, there is also Volume 2 which I need to get at some point but this is a very famous concert. Great Bob and uh, you have Clifford Brown, uh, Clifford Brown, Lou Donaldson, Horace Silver and Art Blakey of course. And yeah. Um, there is this famous sample on this record uh, because there is an uh, introduction by uh, Pee, -wee, Pee Wee Russell and he says, yeah, now playing for Blue Note Records and it was later sampled in uh, Us 3 in the famous 90s song Cantaloupe Flip. But um, yeah, great album like I said. Yeah, very good. Um, I mean, Blue Note is always, uh, Blue Note is always uh, some quality stuff but um, yeah, I really like it and I'm glad that it's in the collection now. Alright, um, the next record is also a Japanese pressing, it's by Bud Powell and it's called, um, yeah, I don't know actually, it's, I think it's just called uh, the Bud Powell uh, Trio. And I haven't listened to this one yet. I bought this from a friend, he decided to, uh, to sell some of his stuff and this is one of the records that I still need to listen to. So if you know this album, let me know what I can expect. Uh, the next one is a find from my local record store. Uh, it's Sony's uh, Sony Side Up, Sony Stitt, Dizzy Gillespie and uh, Sony Rollins. This is also a Japanese pressing from the Immor Immortal Jazz on Verve series. I love the red, white, black cover, it looks fantastic. I also posted it to Instagram. And yeah, I found this for 14 euro. Strong near mint condition, beautiful Japanese pressing. I listened to this one a few days ago and yeah, I mean, Sonny Rollins and, and Sonny Stitt and of course uh, Dizzy Gillespie are always a sign for good quality and um, yeah, it was a great find. The next one is also a Japanese pressing, also on Verve. Um, this is a Polydor uh, Japanese pressing and it's the genius of Charlie Parker, number four, Bird and This. And yeah, I mean, this is uh, actually the first Charlie Parker record I have in my collection. I will try to get the whole series at some point, but um, yeah, I mean, this is just, yeah, that's, it's, uh, when, you're, when you're listening to jazz, um, you will always come to a point where you want to go deeper into Charlie Parker and his, and his uh, style. And that's what I wanted to do and I mean, um, yeah, beautiful, his, uh, his tone is, you can't compare him to anyone else to my mind, just beautiful. So I'm glad that I, that I got this pressing bird and this, the genius of Charlie Parker, number four. And the last record for today is by Clifford Brown and Max Roach and it's called a Study in Brown. This is also a speaker's corner pressing from Germany, cut from the original tapes like always and yeah, some quality stuff as well. Um, I mean, Clifford Brown has, is a great trumpet player, of course, and one of my favorites, to be honest. Maybe I even like him a little more than Miles Davis, but um, what should I say about it? It's so groovy in a way, and yeah, it sounds so good. And I said that before, but when you're listening to jazz, it, to my mind, it's so important to get good pressings, uh, quality pressings, and um, I mean for the sound and for the pressing itself, of course, and Speaker's Corner is always a good way to go. So yeah, Clifford Brown, Study in Brown, big classic. Alright friends, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Have a great weekend, um, it's still very hot over here in Germany and I will be back soon. I have another jazz update coming, um, yeah. Have a great weekend, see you next time, bye bye.